There's something I didn't put in that thesis, and you're going to hear it right now. The whole time I was writing this, I... I was falling in love with you. You fall in love with me. <laughs> How could you fall in love with a girl like me? A girl who loves her family and believes in what a family stands for. A girl who reads the Bible and, and believes in what it says. A girl who's content with this way of life. I should hate you for what you've done, Dave. But I don't. I just, I just feel sorry for you. With all your wealth, your travels, your money, your education, you've missed the most important things of life. I really feel sorry for you. Will you please listen? Go away, David. Go away and don't come back. Hey, darling. I'm on my way to the coast, and I stopped for a surprise. Hello, Mother. Where'd you get that? David, this is priceless. Where'd you get it? Oh, some girl brought it a couple of hours ago. Agnes something or other. Davy, why tear it off? It's terrific. I nearly killed myself laughing. I love the way you wrote about those dreadful people. How do they stand themselves? That girl and her mother, they... What about them? Do you know what they remind me of? I hate to admit it, darling, but they reminded me of my own family. I'm thankful I had sense enough to get out. Just think of it, David. We might have been exactly like them. Yes, we might have been. Exactly like them. Oh, gives me the shivers just to think of it. Does it, Mother? If we had been like them, we might not have had to run away. And to keep on running all our lives. Afraid to look at ourselves. Afraid the emptiness of our lives might catch up with us. Dave. It's true. Now I know why I wrote about the Fishers the way I did. I had to criticize them. I had to despise them to justify my own way of living. What home and family life did I ever have? A dozen houses and no home. Nothing but a futile, empty life. Well, can't you see it, Mother? Our lives have been so terribly empty. We've done nothing but take and never give. But then, maybe we had nothing to give. Or what we had to give, nobody wanted. Oh, it was clever to be a cynic and an agnostic. What was there to believe in anyway? The more abundant life, the good life? We had all the things that money could buy, but... peace of mind, inner contentment, Goodness, kindness, love. Why, David, you sound like a soapbox philosopher. Perhaps I'd Maybe you can keep on running away from yourself, Mother, but I can't. Not anymore. I want the kind of things the Fisher family tried to give me. What was it her father read from the Bible that first night? The thief came to steal and to kill and destroy. That's what I did. I came to destroy, as if I could. As if anyone could take away the things God has given them. And would have given you and me, if we'd wanted it. How could I have written those things? How could a man's mind be so warm? David, you act as though you'd done something awful. I did. Because of my so-called intellectualism, I saw Emily's sweetness as weakness. Her mother's kindness as stupidity. Her father's contentment is dullness. And their grandfather's warm heart is the crumbling of a senile mind. Oh, don't you understand, Mother? All the time, theirs was the abundant life. I was the one who was lost. Same as you are, Mother. Can't you see it? 
Yeah. I can't say you've convinced me, but... Perhaps you have got something. Something I should think about sometime. Well, while you're thinking about it, there's something that I can do about it. The living proof that theirs is the life, the abundant life, the Christian life. <clears throat> well, uh, what do you think? Why, I think it's fine, but... Uh, but, but what, Grandpa? Son, I think you've gone a little bit overboard. This Fisher family you wrote about, they're almost like angels. <laughs> Believe me, we're not. <laughs> Far from it. I think you are. Well, it could be that maybe you're just a little, uh, partial. <laughs> this is the life. come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Hello there. This is Emily again. It was very nice of you to invite us in. Could I add just a word before we leave? A word about the kind of life concerning which we members of the Fisher family say, this is the life. The life which our family is seeking to preserve is based on a personal faith in Jesus Christ as our Savior. A life blessed with the peace and the joy and assurance which only a faith in Christ the Son of God can give you. We sincerely hope that whoever you are, wherever you are, you will invite the Son of God into your heart and your home. That you will cherish him as your personal redeemer that you will make his word, the Bible, a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. For if you will, we're sure that you will find that this is the life. Would you like to know more about the Christian message of pardon and peace through the atonement of the Savior? Write today for This is the Life a revealing little booklet which deals specifically with the problems of human guilt and divine forgiveness. It tells you how you can get right with God, how you can stay right with God, and how you can lead the richer, fuller life which comes from living at peace with your Maker. This valuable little booklet is yours for the asking. For your free copy, just address a letter or postcard to This is the Life, St. Louis, Missouri. Remember the address. This is the life, St. Louis, Missouri. This program has been brought to you by the 5,000 congregations of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. If you are not affiliated with any church, visit the Missouri Synod Lutheran Church in your neighborhood, won't you?